Msemaji wa serikali Isaac Maura ameweka wazi kwamba Kenya imepiga hatua kwa kipindi cha miezi sita tangu serikali ya Rais William Ruto kuingia madarakani. Serikali ya Rais William Ruto ikilenga kukusanya ushuru wa zaidi uh, ushuru zaidi ili kuimarisha sekta za uwekezaji. Kulingana na Maura, serikali ya Kenya kwanza imepata nyongeza ya kipato kwa asilimia kumi na nane. Hata hivyo, serikali inasema kwamba itaendelea kushirikiana na mataifa ya nje ili kubuni nafasi za ajira kwa wakenya. Paul Kirobi na taarifa hiyo. Tangu serikali ya Rais William Ruto kuingia madarakani ajenda imekuwa ni kufua uchumi wa nchi ambao umesemekana kuwa mzigo mzito kwa utawala wa Rais William Ruto. Ndipo sasa serikali kaanzisha mpango wa kuruhusu wageni kuingia nchini bila hitaji la visa na badala yake kupitia mpango wa ETA, changamoto kubwa ambayo ilikuwa ikishuhudiwa hasa kwa wakenya wanaosafiri ugaibuni, hasa nchi za Uarabuni, ilikuwa mateso na kunyanyaswa. Kwa kipindi hicho chote, serikali imefanikiwa tu kuwanusuru wakenya 1350. And our target is to actually have 1 billion dollars. Uh, 10 billion dollars uh, in terms of uh, money right now it's about four or five billion but it, we can earn more because a part of that uh, marginal increase is because of the loss of the dollar uh, shilling to the dollar uh, but then we want more people to actually go away and work there and that's why you have 2500 nurses that are going to work in Saudi Arabia alone. Aidha, Maura kusita kuelezea maendeleo na malengo ya Rais Ruto ya kubuni nafasi za kazi nchini, akisema kwamba baadhi ya sehemu ambazo kazi inaweza kupatikana ni kuajiriwa katika meli ya kutoka mataifa ya kigeni, huku taifa la Kenya pia likilenga kutengeneza meli yake. Uh, this is working on the ships, ship lines. Uh, last year alone, uh, uh, we have had 869 youth going to work uh, for foreign ships uh, in this country. And there is a lot of investment that is going to happen in government uh, to the extent that now Kenya it needs to own its own ships. Mwelekeo wa kubinafsisha mashirika ya serikali ambayo ilikuwa imezua mjadala mzito miongoni mwa Kenya inaonekana kuendelea hata baada ya kupata pingamizi kotini. That's where people are having a problem with. Privatization has to do with somebody coming on board, investing their money for a given period of time, getting some percentage of ownership in terms of that period and then after that uh, it can be reviewed kwa sasa bado wa Kenya wanawasilisha mapendekezo yao hadi tarehe 6 mwezi Februari kizungumkuti ambacho kinamsumbua Rais William Ruto ni kuhusu hasa uliopo kati ya serikali na mahakama swala ambalo imevutia hisia mseto hasa kutoka kwa kiongozi upinzani Raila Odinga Paul Kirobi TV 47